Are you fed up of taking your miniatures somewhere only to find out that when you take them out of the case that they're all broken? Or maybe you're struggling to find a place to store them without taking up too much space. Either way, shoving your miniatures into a layer of foam is a thing of the past. Let me show you a better way of storing and transporting your miniatures so that we can safely take them places, but also allows us to settle for games and then pack them away again once we're done. Welcome to Tabletop Ready, my name's Michael and I want to show you in this video a better way of storing and transporting your miniatures. If you're like me then you want to be able to take your miniatures places and enjoy using them without the worry of them breaking and this is exactly what tends to happen. As well cases can be pretty big and not actually hold that many miniatures for the space they take up. This is why I want to share with you how I store and transport my miniatures so you can do the same. But before we go into it, I want to say a massive thank you to the very generous supporters of Tabletop Ready who enable me and allow me to make these videos for you. As well as becoming a member or a patron, you can support the channel by giving the video a like or leaving me a comment. I really enjoy hearing about your own hobby. And throughout this video, anything you see me using, I will list in the description along with any affiliate links to where you can get them, which also helps. Let's first talk about the items you're going to need before we go through the steps of how we use them. We're first going to want a container with a lid and you can usually find different sizes of container making sure we're able to put the lid on with our largest miniatures inside. Next we're going to need some magnetic sheets. These ones I have here are A4 size which fit nicely into our containers. And along with the magnetic sheets you're going to want something to keep them in place inside the containers and I find double sided tape is perfect for the job. Finally we're going to need some magnets, these are 5x2mm round magnets which are cheap and easy to get hold of. Having to get all these items and then assemble them may seem a lot more effort than just going out there and buying a ready made case, but these items are really easy to get hold of and most of the time more cost effective. When you're ready let's get our container and place one of the magnetic sheets on the bottom of it. And although it fits nicely there is still a gap on the end so let's measure and cut a strip from another magnetic sheet that we have to fill the gap. Now we have our base covered we want to secure these sheets in place and for that we can use our double sided tape. This is going to be strong enough to hold the sheets in place as well as the miniatures that are on it. So now we have our container put together I want to talk about how we can use our magnets with our miniatures to make transporting them easier. Having these magnetic sheets on the bottom of our containers lets us use these round magnets to keep our miniatures in place and stop them from moving around. This is done by using some super glue to attach our magnets to the bottom of our miniatures bases. If a single magnet isn't enough for some of those larger miniatures we can use multiple magnets if we think we need to. If your miniature doesn't have a base then we can find a place on our miniature that is hidden where we can glue our magnets or alternatively we can make a hole to stick those magnets into. And if you're a fan of the old world like me we can even have movement trays which have holes for magnets making it possible not only to magnetise the miniatures to the movement tray but also the movement tray to our containers. Having our miniatures magnetised inside of our containers this way keeps them from moving around and keeps them safe and you don't have to worry about them being squashed between layers of foam. And it doesn't matter how awkward a shape or delicate our miniatures are because they're being kept in place with magnets. The other way we benefit is we're able to unpack and put away our miniatures a lot more easily than if we had put them in a foam layered carry case. They also take up less space and are stackable so we can have multiple containers which we're able to see inside of. We spend a lot of time building, painting and collecting our miniatures so it's really important that we look after them. And I find using these containers and some magnets the best way to do this. It just takes a little time and effort but you'd be really glad you did it. If you enjoy the content here on Tabletop Ready and want to help support the channel you can become a channel member or join my Patreon which not only helps me create this content it also gives you access to our Discord along with a lot of other perks for as little as £2 a month and for every tier you'll also get tutorials early and be kept up to date with what I'm up to behind the scenes. With our containers and miniatures now magnetised, hopefully I've been able to give you the confidence and knowledge to do this yourself. 
and remember I've linked everything I've used in the video's description with affiliate links to where you can get them so you can give this a go yourself. I really enjoy making these videos and I hope you find them useful. If you do then please let me know by leaving a like and let me know in the comments below. As well make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future content and I'll see you in the next video.